What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Population 11 channel. Uh, I know it's been a while, <laughs> as always. It's always like, I feel like I do a video and then it's like, hey, it's been a while. But this time around, there's been a lot going on. So I know that you guys understand that um, you guys got things going on. We got things going on family-wise. Um, but at the end of the day, we're going to be hopefully pushing out a lot more content. We're also um, working on a channel, a sports channel as well, that if you guys do want to check that out, that's the Daily Sporting on YouTube. Anyways, but getting back to what I wanted to do today, I kind of wanted to cover as a beginner um, really uh, the two different softwares I've been using to mine Bitcoin um, with my new custom computer, uh, custom built com uh, PC. So I just want to give you guys, um, again, as a beginner, kind of my advice as to what I went with and how it's been working out for me. Um, you know, I'm sure if you have some profitability questions or anything, feel free to comment. Um, definitely like, share, and subscribe if you do um, get a chance. Um, but yeah, guys, so uh, without further ado, let's get started. Yeah, guys, so... Um, so this is the two different pieces of software I've been using. Um, I know a lot of people are very familiar with um, if you're mining or if you even search Bitcoin mining, one of the first things that will come up is nice hash. Um, that's this one right here on the right hand side. That's the one I'm currently using. Um, the reason being that um, I was kind of running into some problems with the first one I used, which I'll discuss in a second. Um, but I will just tell you that nice hash has been performing really well. It's been really easy to manage um, everything about so far, at least from a beginner standpoint. Um, it was just going to the website, downloading some software, allowing some permissions, and really it benchmarked everything, and uh, it really did its thing on its own, and it's been running ever since, and it's been about three weeks, uh, and it's been really, really great. It's been performing um, with about $2 a day in profitability. Um, so that's, that's how that one's been going. Um, from the standpoint of the first one I used, uh, that's actually this one right over here on the left, Honey Miner. Um, I used that one because um, I kind of wanted to take a look at something different from Nice Hash because of so many people telling me about that one. Um, and Honey Miner was super easy. I installed it. Uh, it literally, same kind of deal, plug and, plug and play. It was very visually easy to get everything going. Um, one of the things about why I kind of switched from it, though, um, so two things, right? They got this kind of reward system built into it, which was interesting and very cool. They definitely give you some Satoshis for based off of the, the time frame of how long you've been mining. They kind of give you some more Satoshis. I thought that was interesting. Um, so I started there. Um, about two weeks or three weeks in, for some reason, when I restarted my computer, the millihashes about how much um, I was mining started to go down. I reached out to them. They were very quick and very precise. So they're super helpful, guys, and, and very easy to use. But I don't know why I can't get my PC to mine back to the, the potential that it has. So I kind of really switched off of there because um, I couldn't get it to mine you know, the amount of uh, Bitcoin that it was originally mining. I don't know what happened. I really don't. And my computer has nothing but just mining software and probably one or two editing software. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm sure one PC game. <laughs> but um, with that being said, I switched over to NiceHash and I have yet to run into any problems at all. Um, if you ask me from a beginner standpoint which one I would recommend, I would still kind of recommend starting off with Honey Miner because, you know, I ran into some problems. doesn't mean you will. Um, I also like the way that they give you the ability of buying and purchasing um, really additional um, – miners right so uh you can actually virtually have some miners and those are the ones if you notice here that i have some two gpus mining i actually have virtual ones um and it's been performing really really well um from the standpoint of when i purchased it and how long my t the time and the contract is i think i have still about 60 days on those so i'm really reaping the benefit of having purchased it before um this latest bull run um, you can do the same in nice hash, but it's a little bit more complex. Um, I haven't really gotten into it since I have, um, just been trialing out these. Um, yeah, guys, I mean, they both, uh, referral programs. I know that, um, here on, um, on Honey Miner, they do have a referral program. So if you guys want to check that out, um, you know, uh, here's my referral code. I'm sure I'll put it on the description. You don't have to sign up. I'm just saying in general, I know a lot of people look at, um, that as an important, um, part of, um, their Bitcoin mining as well. 
Um, I don't know if Nice Hash has one. I'm sure they do. They've been around a long time, so I'm sure that they have one. But again, guys, I just wanted to make it nice, quick, and simple and give you guys a little bit of from a beginner standpoint as to why you might want to look at these two softwares. If you're just getting into it, if you just might have purchased a PC, it is very simple. Didn't really, um, you know, light comparison and, um, and profitability there. Really, I mean, it's not going to be major, um, you know, from us here in Vegas, obviously, it's uh, pretty expensive light uh consumption as i think is at uh 10 cents uh kilowatt um but again i'm not really worried about um the current profitability in this particular case because i'm not mining tons of miners um once things change and once we get maybe some solar panels and things like that in the future i might cons uh, i might be looking at that a little bit closer right now i don't mind my pc that's always on being left on and mining bitcoin for me so if you guys are trying to do the same um these are the two pieces of software i would recommend for you guys check it out um i'm going to also do a couple of reviews on my monitor and a couple of other things that we've been doing so yeah man come back and check us out guys we appreciate it definitely hope you enjoyed this video um i'll have more reviews and different um different posts coming up shortly here okay take care